Welcome back to Carson Tate's video log, live again from Provincetown, standing in front of Women Crafts Books, and I have here with me Mary San Giovanni. Right? Care to buy a vowel? <laughs> so make you crack meatballs. <laughs> That's <laughs> Right, that's excellent. I love that. <laughs> Did you bring me a lasagna? <laughs> it, it, you know, people always think that they need Italian food when they hear my, my, the name of my uh, last name. It's very, very Italian. Okay, so you're Italian. <laughs> yeah. Cover that. <laughs> okay, and so what I remember most about you, I've never met you before, but last year on the street, your um, girlfriend was forced to flyer. Does everyone know what flyering is? Actually, <laughs> that was my sister. Okay. <laughs> All right, I love it. She's very aggressive. <laughs> she, so there's, she's like, go see this person. Yeah, that's Nisa. Yeah. She's Walk a out. character in the book, too. So people know. Okay, well, I changed her name to Lisa from Nisa. Oh, that's really Just so she subtle. wouldn't sue me. <laughs> All right, so I love the title of your book. Thanks. And um, greetings from Jamaica. Wish you were queer. And so oh, we'll, oh, oh, here we go. Got a good shot. Do you want to cover the girls? <laughs> She's known for her cleavage shots. And just go to the Bywater side if you want to check that out. <laughs> they just get in the way. <laughs> they each have their own agent. All right, so tell the viewers about your book, if anyone's crazy this enough book. not to have read it. Yeah, well, let's hope they have. It's but comedic, just to recap, yes. yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really about, uh, it's more about a crazy Italian family that I sort of know. Well, uh, and uh, now your sister. <laughs> but it's a love story. Uh, this this woman gets sort of obsessed with an actress, and um, she uh, has fantasies about uh, getting the actress to do her screenplay. She fancies herself a writer, a very bad writer. And she doesn't um, fancy herself about it. She thinks, she, yeah, well, she yeah. thinks she's a good writer, and then she realizes she's not a good writer. But it's a little late. She's already tried to get this actress to do something. Um, so she's considering that, and while she's considering that, she's thinking, I'm going to take my family away on vacation to Jamaica to say, see you later, I'm heading off to California, this is your goodbye present, <laughs> and the actress shows up on the island, so and not she's, a good time for her to... She's inherited a lot of money. Yes, she did inherit a lot so of money. So is that That's something that, that happened to you, or are you like an... God, no! <laughs> <laughs> Fiction! <laughs> no, and it's funny, sometimes I get letters about that. Can you sponsor me to come to this country? <laughs> I'm like, have you read anything about publishing? You know, no. <laughs> You're independently wealthy from so right. so word is you're working on a sequel yes so how are you going to come up with a better title than that i uh, actually I already have a title it's not going to be better than this one <laughs> i gotta admit <laughs> but the next one is called camp town ladies because the family the italian family purchased a campground so oh excellent. and a lot of the uh a lot of the book is set right here in p-town too it's a oh, big excellent. chunk excellent. in p-town and in rhode island at a campsite. And you're from Rhode Island. Yes. If you can't tell from horrible accent. Yeah, we, I don't distinguish between all these eastern accents. They're all just, Boston. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're all like Yankee yeah. accents. <laughs> Two dollars for the whole box. Water. Yeah. All right. So, um, anything else? I mean, you you thinking about writing more in the same line, or I you actually, venturing out? Or? Yeah, I have a third book um, that is completed, but uh, going to do a rewrite on that. So I wanted to get the. Uh, the sequel done first, Excellent. since people were responding so well to this one. Um, also have a screenplay version of it, trying to get a movie made. Oh, we'll see. People have been biting, but Hollywood, you think publishing's rough. What's the easiest thing and the hardest thing about writing a sequel? Uh, the hardest thing is to recap without looking like you're recapping. Yeah. And I'm writing try a to, sequel now, and ooh, that's the hard part. I know. Part, yeah. It's trying to make it seem like it's on its own, and just giving people a little bit of exposition, not not enough to make them feel like, you know, you really need to read the first book, though they do. They do, but they but it is, to. people want to know that they don't have to read the first book. <clears throat> it's okay to yeah, read it. and also if they've already read it, do they really need to hear me tell it again? So that was the hardest part, and I'm sure my publisher, Kelly, will tell me where I failed, and we will tweak that before you ever see it. And the easiest part? Um, you already in back the with the family yeah. again, exactly, I, you know. Legally, they're not my family. Yeah. But they're your yeah. fiction family. Yeah, fiction. exactly. <laughs> so that part's easy. That's I could do that with my eyes closed because I know them and know what they would do. Excellent. So that's, yeah. All right, well, keep writing. Good luck with your sequel. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> not too much exposition. No, I will no. watch that. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for joining thanks, us. Thanks, everybody. This is Mary San Giovanni. Woo! I have to say it like that because it sounds much more hilarious. Yeah. And this is Carson Tate's Video Log signing out.